My father was a farmer. He was what I called a mixed farmer. Mm -hmm. I can remember in 1948, I was just a little kid, my father got a load of produce, farm vegetables and everything to carry to Atlanta, Georgia, to the farmer's market. We'd go down Highway 19, which is the main route from here to Atlanta, Georgia. There was no traffic in 1948, smooth sailing. And so after he sold out all the goods down there, when we come back, we leave Atlanta, Georgia, to come back to coming about 11 o'clock in the night. From the time we left the city of Atlanta at 11 o'clock, we got back to coming, we didn't meet the first car. No traffic. I, I can remember that trip, seeing the streets dug up in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, this this is 1948. And I go back today, and it's still oh, dug up. real. Six-year-old. I can, and to go back today and they still don't show it up. So it's never in it's perpetual motion. You've got to keep the progressive government going. All the infrastructure and everything never ends. What, what did your grandfather do? My grandfather was an entrepreneur. He had the first ice plant in Cumming, Georgia, in Forsyth County, on the Courthouse Square, where Sal's Restaurant is, and Sal's Pizza Place. My grandfather had an old ice plant there. He had these big ammonia vats where he froze the blocks of ice, and he had 200-pound blocks of ice. He had a delivery service where he carried in, out into the community to put in the ice box because nobody had electricity here. The only electricity was right here in the center of town as a kid growing up, very rural. So we'd freeze those 200-pound box of ice, and the delivery truck would go around, and you have a small ice box, you need a 25-pound block of ice. Well, it had grooves in that ice, and you take your ice pick and go around, you a 25-pound block would come out. If you had a bigger ice box, you need a 50-pound block of ice. You went around the groove, got your 50-pound, put it in the ice box. That lasted a week. So next week, you'd go around and... When did the, the first gravity come to come in? Early 1700s that I can remember, that I've, that I've went back to, but I haven't traced it all the way back, but early 1700s, to the late late 17, the late 17, really? of my family, yeah. And where did they come from? Like I said, my family came from Germany. I think the ancestors were German descent. Do you know where? And I don't know what town, no. No, I don't know where in Germany. But I think it was in Germany. And what was the evolution of the Gravitz family when they first came to Well, they were mostly all farmers. Some of them were entrepreneurs. Some of them obviously served in the, the Civil War in the North. Some of them served in the South. They were fighting against each other. Other. What did they do in the Civil War? Well, obviously they tried to, the ones that were in the South tried to defend the territory, you know, and, and tried to keep the uh, Yankees uh, imperialists from burning the homes and, and taking the cattle. That was one of the big things of the, of the Civil Era, is whenever the Sherman marched through the area, they uh, would, the, they were, well, they swept the area. They right? swept the area, and as far as coming, the troops, some of the troops came through and burned the homes and barns and, and this kind of thing and took the cattle and took what goods they had to, to, to live on but uh, as far as uh, as far as them camping out and ever standing coming I, because this was very rural keeping yeah. in mind very very rural my father passed away at 13 years old I was 13 there was nine of us in my family I was the eight children of nine I was the only one left home with my mother I had three brothers that was in the in the military, two of them in the uh, army served in the Korean conflict, and one of them was in the Navy in the Philippines. I was the only one left home with my mother at that time, so I had felt like an obligation to, to work and help support my mother. My mother never drove a car. She'd always looked after us kids, and, and uh, she was basically, after my father passed away, the provider. Didn't have a public job, farmed on the farm. And so Mr. James Altwell, who was my mentor, and he was a state representative at that time, and also had the uh, Chevrolet dealership, which is still in the motor company today. His son, James Altwell, the third runs the Chevrolet dealership. He gave me a job of working after school and so forth in the body shop, and I worked on with him for 24 years. Uh, he passed away in 73. And then I went in business for myself, and I was altogether in the automobile repair business for 42 years. Did you have a repair shop? I did. I had a repair shop in Forge Body and Auto Service. Located where? Located right next to the Chevrolet dealership. Okay. And it's still in operation known as Common Collision. I lease it out. Just behind it? Yeah, right there. So that's 
That's my uh, business, and I lease it out. After my late wife passed away, I retired from that business and spent most of my time looking at the city affairs, being the mayor for finishing up 41 years. What was your first activity in public service? My first activity was working on a local campaign for the local sheriff, which was Lloyd Barnett, running for sheriff. And I worked on his campaign to get the 18-year-olds in the vote. So that was my first. And what was your first office that you ran for? My first office was city council that I was elected on the city council when I was 22 year old. What year? I was in 1964. I was the youngest city councilman in the United States at that time. 1964. And I served. I served two terms on the city council, and then ran for mayor. And I served. I'm finishing up 37 years as mayor. Did you, did you win your first? I won my first term, my second term, and then ran for mayor in 19 and uh, 70 and was elected and had served as mayor ever since. Are you the longest serving mayor in Georgia? That uh, that I that's been recorded the longest service serving mayor. We have a unique situation in the city of Cumming, Georgia. We're the only municipal government in the state of Georgia that provides the level of services that we provide, like street departments, water department, sewer department, park rec department, the various departments that we provide all the services city of Cumming. We don't have a city assessed property tax in the city of Cumming. The only city in the state of Georgia. That's a tremendous service. You run on a post? I mean, you're... No, I've had the opposition on many occasions. How long have you lasted for? Four years. When is your next election? This year. This November. Yes. When do you start working on your campaign? Well, if I run again, you start about three months prior to the campaign. Have you decided yet? I haven't decided, but, you know, I've, once, I've been honored by the people and had a long history in, in government and worked hard at it. It's been my life. You're a young, I'm getting, you're a young I'm getting man. getting older now. No, you're not. How old are you? 65 New Year's. But if you didn't run, what would you do with your time? I mean, it's been so much a part of you. Well, I have grandkids, you know, now, and, yes. and I have three children, myself, you know, and I can spend a lot of time doing that and then my personal business, which I'm in commercial rental business, and I have, and that takes up a little time, so I, I have some time to spend. Uh, do you have an email address? I do, but I don't use it, and I don't even know what the number is.